sorry I'm not there personally, uh, but I did want to offer a few views on the topic of Article 6 and ETS linkages, and in particular on the role of price containment mechanisms. Um, this is a topic that's of great interest to AIDA members. Uh, I should say that we have supported a market stability reserve in the EU as a volume-based control that helps to uh, steady the price in Europe. But we've also prov uh, provided support to the California-Quebec markets where uh, California has floor and ceiling prices as part of the package there. I personally approached this issue with uh, some humility because I think I've been in and around it for most of the last 20 years. Uh, starting out, most of us in carbon markets had a view that um, we wanted a free market approach, we wanted the price to emerge naturally and for it to be governed without uh, government interference on the price itself. Um, but as we've moved forward in time, we've been through thick and thin in the carbon markets of Europe and in California, and I think we've learned a lot of lessons. Um, in Europe, we started out with a market that had pretty wide access to international markets as a cost containment feature, but gradually Europe grew uncomfortable with that approach and wanted to drive more domestic action. Um, but then with the price collapse uh, associated with the financial crisis, I think the view was that the EU market needed to be tightened up even further. Uh, so we supported the reforms to add a market stability reserve. AIDA advocated for this policy because we had comfort in how uh, governments had run strategic petroleum reserves to uh, guard against uh, market uh, failures in petroleum markets. And therefore, it was sort of a tool that uh, had some antecedent in, um, in existing energy and energy markets. Um, in California, we've had a similar uh, but different experience. Their price floors and ceilings have always been a part of the dialogue, uh, as it was in the blacksmith markey debates at the federal level. And in the California market, we've seen the, the market uh, deal with the fact that there are floors and ceilings. We saw analysts in the early days of the program express concerns that California might blow through the price ceiling and actually breach the cap. We've also seen times, though, when the market didn't clear at auction so that there was not enough demand in the system at the price available. Uh, so the price, uh, the actual market trading price was uh, below the floor price. So what does that tell you? I think it tells you that both systems kind of have some limitations around them, but that the market participants can work with both of them. Um, Going forward, I think uh, uh, we and AIDA see a valuable role for uh, having a suite of policies that are considered as part of linked, linking discussions, uh, coverage, stringency, what flexibilities are offered, whether it's uh, in terms of timing flexibilities or in uh, use of offsets and locational flexibilities. But the price and volume controls are one that we hope over time uh, we get comfort that these two, uh, these two approaches maybe are not that far apart so that it would not become an obstacle to linking if you have alignment on a number of the other policies. I think the recent example with Switzerland and, and a prior example with Australia in uh, linkage with the EU both sort of hinted that uh, at the end of the day, it doesn't have to be perfect alignment, just has to be within a certain uh, comfort zone. Um, again, for, uh, for AIDA, we, we've supported both. We have an open mind about how these could be uh, uh, policies that gradually um, uh, converge over time, even though they they have sort of different design characteristics. But we know that if we're serious about net zero emissions and about pursuing the Paris goals, we need more linkages. We need more use of nature-based offsets, and we need to see structures that enable businesses to collaborate across borders at the scale that's commensurate with Paris goals. Um, I hope that these remarks are helpful. It's really a delight to be part of this dialogue. Sorry we aren't all together in person to discuss this uh, over our evening cocktails and dinners, but at least we are able to connect virtually. So thank you and uh, look forward to future sessions.
with a contribution from the LIFE program of the European Union.